are you ready to embark this epic tutorial that will foresee your skill in a level beyond of what you can accomplish? Well, if you say to yes to any of this, then you are ready. <laughs> uh, screw that. Hey, this is Phase on Dude 1017 here with a tutorial on a different type of motion tracking that is way better than uh, the other tutorial that I was uh, doing before. So what, basically what I'm going to do today is find an alternative way of motion tracking, which if you recall in my last tutorial, instead of uh, the motion tracking used two points to track when the camera uh, was moving around whenever you record uh, something. So we use two points and y you develop uh, 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 motion tracking with that. Well, this way it's going to be way better and way different because this is more reliable and effective to use and in my opinion way simpler and more easier to use. So it tracks the surface area of an object instead of two points. So uh, I know it may sound a little bit complicated, but it's the easiest thing, way easier than motion tracking. So um, I have TeamSpeak up, Origin, and Steam. So if there's any messages, pop-ups, or sound effects coming from it, that's TeamSpeak and Origin or whatever. So I do apologize for that. Anyways, um, all my recent and real-life videos, I've been using this type of method because it's the best way to use them. All right, so before I start, uh, this is my little notes here. Um, before I start, if you guys have any questions about uh, this, about panning in and out of a scene where a pony appears and disappears, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, let me just pull this up right quick. I know many of you guys have been requesting on how to do this. This is what many people are requesting. It's when you pan out and pan in to see a pony and when you pan back out. Many of you guys have been requesting, you know, how to do this. To be honest, um, I can do one. That was like, it took me eight tries to get that to work. But the problem is I was unable to replicate it. Like, I cannot do it again because I, I tried after that uh, successful attempt, I tried to do it again. But I had many problems and it didn't work out. So I do not feel comfortable making a tutorial on something I can't do every single time and if there's someone out there who knows how to do it who who knows how to do it way better than I do then please share it share it share it tell me tell everyone make a video you make a tutorial yourself on how to do it because I am having very much troubles on panning in and out of ponies because it is very hard and I can't make a very comfortable tutorial with that so I do apologize if I do not make one because I just can't get it to work and also, throughout the tutorial, I'm not a big After Effects user, so if you have anything that I that I think I could, I, I could do better, or anything that I miss, please leave it a comment on the comment below, or message me, or whatever, and I'll make sure I'll do uh, something to change it up. Okay, so next, enough of that intro, um, let's get started, shall we? So, let's go ahead and get After Effects running, and I'm going to open up my videos I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using a uh, a video that uses a little bit camera shake. It's not that shaky, just a re regular scene. And one that has a lot of camera shakes that shakes around very heavily and it's not good. I'm going to show you that both these camera, both type of videos work very effectively with this type of uh, uh, motion tracking. All right, so first step, import all the videos you're going to be using, including your green screen, and drag into your project desk here. All right. Now we're going to select the clip that you want to use, your in real life clip. So I'm going to use the slow pace one first. You're going to drag it to, to make a new comp, create a new composition. And you're going to have it here. All right. Now you're going to select your clip here. Now it's optional if you have something to trim up. Let's so say you want to start at four seconds or three seconds. You could just go ahead and drag this bottom part and just trim it up just like that. And maybe you just want to make it five, ten seven seconds long and you just want to cut this out so just for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna do this right quick I'm gonna trim come to work area because let's say I just want to trim this little section if you want to use the whole scene then don't do this step you don't have to alright once you got that finished you're gonna go over here and click on your clip make sure it's selected and you're gonna go up to animations in the toolbar and you can click on track and mocha after effects right over here now, 
this will bring up a separate program this is nothing but tracking motion so this feature I never knew about a while back but it's way better um, way better to use no I'm not gonna register register later one important thing is to make sure you go back to your video here and click on your video that you just dragged when you click on your video in the project area it should show you the frames per second now it says 29.991 frames per second it is important and crucial to make sure you have uh, the, fr uh, the frames being matched up to this program here so this says 30 so just might as well just put it to 29.97 because it makes it more accurate more better when tracking when it has the same frame rate and make sure um, everything else here is pretty much the same you don't have to touch anything except for the frame rate so you're gonna go ahead and click OK I already made one so I'm just gonna override it by hitting yes this message shouldn't pop up for you guys so as you can see I already trimmed the video it should already have like a red bracket if you did trim it right down here in the timeline if it didn't it should just show from start to finish all the way right here in the ends and the start in the end alright so the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna find an object or some form of design that you want to track now instead of using two points you're gonna track a surface area so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pan around by holding middle mouse click uh, button you can zoom in by holding uh, press and hold Z and left hold left click and go up and down and then you're gonna pan around I'm gonna use this orange square here I wanna track this whole surface area here so you're gonna go up to your toolbar top left corner right here you're gonna have a pen with an X mark on it it's gonna be called create X spline layer tool you're gonna click that once and you're gonna create a uh, rectangle or square it doesn't have to match up to the edges of this square it just you know approximate it just go right here it doesn't have to be perfect just make four dots here and you just right click to let go of that last dot and just move it around just like this because it just wants to track this um this orange surface area here it doesn't have to match up perfectly around the square let's go ahead and just move a teeny tiny bit just like that okay so we're gonna start tracking this so in order to start tracking you're gonna go to the bottom left hand corner here and you're gonna hit um, track forward now if there's any time in the video that you don't feel comfortable the way it's being tracked you could always stop it like that and just click and move around the points that you want to move around now since I'm quite comfortable with these points I don't have to move anything so you're just gonna keep continuing track forward or you could track one by one where it says track to next frame one bit by bit by bit just to see how it flows and you could do the same thing going backwards track to previous frame or track backwards continuously but for the purpose of this we'll just track forward now I'm gonna cut the video until this finishes alright alright welcome back guys so it's done tracking and you can go ahead and click and drag this to make sure if you like this look how nice and smoothly it tracked this orange uh, square here just move it around and it perfectly tracks this square here when every time the camera shakes a little bit if you are happy with that then you are done if not you could just go ahead and you know retrack it by moving it move these little points and just track it again if you don't like it but I'm pretty satisfied with what I see here so um, what we're gonna do is once you're satisfied at the bottom right hand here it's gonna say export tracking data we're gonna export this tracking data by clicking it now in this drop down menu you can, depending on what kind of software you have most most um, After Effects programs have more selection for me I have three selections here so I'm gonna click the one that has After Effects corner pin that supports motion blur that's the one I use the other ones doesn't work as good as some um, as I thought so this is the one that best works the one that supports motion blur um, you're gonna click on this you can either do two things you can either copy this to your RAM to the clipboard it's like control um, uh, control copy or you can just save it to the desktop I'm gonna do both when you click on that it's already saved into your RAM or whatever you know or you could just save it to your desktop just in case you know you don't want to lose it it's gonna save as layer one dot text 
it's right there and after that you can minimize it you can close it but I just minimize it just in case I do something wrong now if you save it as a text you're gonna have this all this information like this It's like you know what is this Ugh. don't worry about it if you didn't copy it to your clipboard just control a to select everything and control C to copy everything all right and you exit out of that all right let's go back to our after effects all right now we need all this information to be placed on something so we want to create a new null object message receive message receive message receive I don't care now I'm just gonna name this motion tracking cool all right cool um we want to select motion tracking here you can you could hit control V for paste or you could go up here to the edit toolbar and you can hit paste and all the information should be tracked in there on that uh, scene there now let's zoom in shall we all right let's see how well this little square um, stays still along the camera shake I'm gonna rend uh, pre-render this I know it's kind of hard to see the camera shake but th because this is a slow shake it doesn't have that much of heavy camera shake so you can't see it but the way I'm seeing it right now it's moving along the camera very well it's staying to that square very well now since it's all red you can just fast forward like this you see how well placed this is it's very very good it's very efficient it's very very easier it's way easier than that so it should work fine just like that now the thing is when you paste the information it saves the position it saves the scale and it saves the rotation in some cases when you you know put your pony in your in your video it rotates along where your camera if you rotate your camera your pony will rotate with it and sometimes that just messes it up so what I usually do if that happens if it rotates along with the camera, I just de deselect rotation. Oh, no, 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 no. Control Z. I don't want to deselect it. What? All right, there we go. Select rotation and just click on the little tick mark right here with the timer. And they'll just get rid of all the information of the rotation. And the same thing goes for scale. If you, if you um, bring your camera closer or away from a scene, it'll make the uh, pony become smaller or bigger. And I don't, I don't want that in my scene. So I'm going to deselect scale. Now, now it really depends. You could have these scale and rotation on, on options on the way it is. You don't have to delete them if you don't shake your camera a lot. But for the purpose of this, I want this to only save the X and Y positions. See, when you scroll like this, it still moves along the camera just as good as it was before. All right, so let's test this. So I'm going to... Oh, um, if you want to, you could go to Effects. And just delete the corner pin. Corner pick is just as useless. And you could just, it works just as well without the corner pin. So I'm going to zoom out here. Time to bring in Pinkie Pie. I'm going to put on top of my clip here. Nice. Just going to scale it down. I'm going to move this more forward. There we go. Place her here. And make sure you click on your Pinkie Pie or green screen, or bleh, green screen and parent it. Make it have the data that the motion tracking has. So you're going to click on that motion tracking. And when you zoom in, you should see her legs being just as still when the camera shakes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right. All right. Notice how the camera, uh, the pony stays, uh, stays along with the camera shake. See, it's just that easy. It's way better. Now let me zoom out. Just look at this. It's way better. It makes it more realistic. It's way smoother. I personally, personally love this more than um, using two tracking points. Now I'm going to do the same thing for a very heavy camera shake. So I'm going to pause my video and do the exact same steps I just did, but um, with a heavier camera shake. All right, just look at this clip. Look how bad the camera shakes, and look how well these uh, this surface area detects the orange rectangle. It shows that how efficient and how 
um, thorough this uh, technique can be used. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, export tracking data. I'm just going to copy to clipboard this time and go back to my video, create a new uh, null object. I'm just going to control V for paste. There we go. And whoopsie, I kind of trimmed the clip too much. Let me create a new composition. All right, um, sorry about that. I just had to create a new composition. Because was, um, let me just hide this right quick. Uh, whoop. All right, look at this little red box here. This is the fast motion tracking. Look how well it tracks along the camera movement. It goes to show you that, that even if you have heavy camera movement, this method is way, way reliable. Now, I'm going to do the same thing as the other one. I'm going to go ahead and delete the, uh, the, uh, the, the scale and the rotation and the uh, corner pin. Alright, now just look at this and look how well it goes along with this um, uh, rectangle here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and throw it in our pony in there. Whoopee! Aw, look at that smile. <laughs> Every pony you smile, 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 fill my heart up with sunshine. Alright, there we go. Now let's go ahead and go ahead and parent it to the motion tracking. All right, let's pre-render this, shall we? Just look at that beauty. Look at that perfect motion tracking. Sexy. Okay, that's getting a little bit, a uh, little bit creepy. All right, just look at that. Look at that. Nice motion tracking using Mocha After Effects. And ladies and gentlemen, that is basically it. I am so sorry this took way too long. These are easy steps. I just make sure I walk you through it very thorough, thoroughly and very uh, specifically because many tutorials, many people just rush in their, uh, their, their steps. They don't explain it. They don't uh, elaborate on them. And I don't like to do that. I like to take my time and go step by step on these videos because I know there's people like me who I, I learn very slow and, and through video. Of, of how to do certain things and I learn very slow and that's how I like to do my tutorials is very slow so I do apologize for my fast-paced learner that this took way long but I wanted to make this very thoroughly as possible so I hope you guys like, like my tutorial um, again if there's anything I missed or could do better please message me below uh, comment I read every private message I read every email I read every comment that has gone um, to my uh, YouTube channel so I hope you enjoy. You guys have fun with your real life videos. I'm looking forward to your videos. So good day, guys.